feeling like a fraud? Are you suffering from imposter syndrome? In this video, I'm gonna help you go from insecure to becoming the expert you're meant to be. As always, before we get started, make sure you hit the bell icon and subscribe to our channel so you get notified when new episodes drop every Wednesday. All about helping you go from passion to profits in your coaching business. Hi there coach, it's Carolyn Soldo here. I'm the founder of Brand Your Passions and the Powerhouse Coach, where we work with new and experienced coaches from all around the world. Nine years ago, I launched my coaching business and I remember those feelings of unworthiness. And I thought, am I really a real coach? Can I create real results? Am I worth premium prices? Can I charge for my coaching? I had never worked with clients before and I was struggling with a lot of lacking confidence. Today, I work with new and experienced coaches from around the world, and it doesn't matter how advanced a coach is in their career, the feelings of being an imposter and doubts, they creep in no matter how experienced you are in business. So this is something we need to address, and I'm here today to give you my best tips and strategies to help you overcome imposter syndrome, feel like a real expert, lead from the heart, and go out there to reach the people you're meant to reach, and do the work you love. The first thing we need to do is look at your credibility factors. When I look at my own confidence and why I feel grounded and confident in what I do, it comes from the experience I have and the work I have done. And even if you're a new coach, I know you have work experience, education, or personal life experience that you can draw from to give you confidence and to make you understand how worthy and how valuable you really are. So get out a piece of paper and write down three things, work experience, education, and life experience. And explore those three areas for you and figure out where you can draw credibility from. Where have you had your biggest successes and your greatest results? Do you have personal experience with health or fitness or relationships or do you have a long-standing career? Have you had major success in a corporate world? Maybe you have a coaching certification or maybe you went to college. Maybe you are a counselor or a psychologist or what have you. Take a look at all of these areas and make a list of your credibility factors that you can always look at and say, hey, I'm an expert. I've done this, I've done this, and I've done that. And those are the reasons why I'm credible to coach people in my chosen field. The second thing I want you to do right now is think about your purpose. One thing I'm really proud of is my mission. I, deep in my heart, believe that I have a purpose to fulfill in this world, and my purpose is to help people just like you live an extraordinary life, be happy, and do the work they're meant to do. For me, it's a ripple effect. If I help you, you get to help more people, and we can change the world. So if you're coming from a sense or a place of service, and you know you have a mission to fulfill, it's your responsibility to do that. So don't feel bad about it. Don't feel like you're not worthy enough. You're more than worthy already. You have a God-given purpose and a mission to go out there and be a coach and change people's lives. And all the experiences that you've had so far, all the things you've learned, the struggles you've overcome, the challenges you've faced, they were given to you for a reason so that you could learn to master them and take away the skills and talents and abilities to show other people how to do the same. Don't you believe that? I believe that for you 100%. So if you're coming from a place of purpose and power and true mission, it's your responsibility to share that. And there's no place and there's no space for feeling like an imposter. You're out there to make a difference. So go out there and do the things you're meant to do. Don't let anybody tell you differently. Don't let anybody hold you back. Follow your purpose and don't think about anything else. The third thing I want you to do is celebrate every win you experience. In this world, we can't always control people. There are naysayers. There are people who are jealous of us. There are clients who don't feel like we've given them what they deserve. Right? So there might be people out there coming at you, making you feel less than, making you feel unworthy, criticizing you, challenging you, and you can't always control that. But the one thing you can control is what you pay attention to and what you celebrate. 
In our company, we celebrate literally every client win, big or small. We post them in our Facebook group. We post them on our results pages. And we celebrate every step of the way because we know that it's about the journey and it's not about the end result. It's about enjoying the process of building a business and knowing that every single day we get one step closer to our big goals. Being grateful for everything that you have and celebrating all the little wins will not only show your prospective clients that you're a positive person, but it will put you in a state of mind that is positive thinking so that you have ideas and the power to do even more. It will bring more people to you, it will attract more people to your message, and it will make you so much more powerful to go out there and make a real difference. The next thing I want you to do is a simple mindset shift and that is to go from selling to serving. When you think about your coaching services as selling yourself, right? you're promoting yourself, you're marketing yourself, it feels pushy, it can feel sleazy, it feels like you're giving people something they may not want. What I want you to do instead is to think about serving and adding value. When you go out there in the world on social media, on YouTube, in person, whatever you might be doing, and you think, hey, I just want to make a difference. I want to add value wherever I can. I will give information, I will teach, I will coach people, I will train, I will speak, and I will give as much as I have. People will see that, and you will make a difference with your information, your ideas, and your thoughts. And by doing that, you'll let go of being all in your head and making it all about you and feeling awkward and feeling like an imposter and you're actually moving towards a space that makes you feel like you're adding real value. People will appreciate you, you will feel that, and that over time will build your confidence like nothing else. So if you know in your heart what your credibility factors are, what your purpose is, you celebrate every little win, and you go out there and you move from selling to serving, you can't lose. No more imposter syndrome, no more feeling unworthy, it's just love. You're out there giving value and focusing on the people who really need you and who are ready to work with you right now. I believe in your passion and my mission is to help you bring your passions to the world. And now I would love to hear from you. Let me know what your biggest takeaways were from this episode. I would love to have a conversation with you and always help you be the expert you're meant to be. Now that you're finally ready to let go of imposter syndrome, let's get you some clients. Without coaching clients in your business, you can't make the difference you're here to make. And I want to show you how to get coaching clients for your business right now. I have a free class. It's a 60 minute training class. And in that class, I'm going to show you my three simple secrets and steps to get all the coaching clients you could ever want. In the class, we're going to talk about why selling high-end programs is much more profitable for you and better for your coaching clients. We will also talk about how to build a multi-million dollar coaching business by attracting quality leads over a high quantity of leads. And I'll show you why marketing does not have to be complicated at all and the marketing strategy I use in my own business to get coaching clients for my programs every single day. There's a link below in the description where you can click right now, reserve your seat, the class is completely free and I can't wait to see you there. Now stay focused on your goals because I believe that you are meant to bring your passions to the world. If you like the video, give me a like, leave me a comment below, and I can't wait to see you next week. Thanks so much for watching. From Passion to Profits Live, our big annual event for coaches is happening this September in Hollywood, California. Do you want a ticket? For more info, go to FromPassionToProfitsLive.com.